All right, everyone, we are back at it again. It's actually Wednesday today. The first run of the USDGC is about to start. We have like an hour and a half to kill. So I thought, why not be productive and make a video that has been requested a couple times. Joining me today is one of the best putters in the world at the moment, Eagle McMahon. Here, we don't know yet. We haven't ranked it. If any of the 30, 30 players were both on this list, watch this. This is not a stab at you, it's a stab at your game. Okay. All right, the tiers are, I have one, two, three, which is in my opinion or our opinion, we'll see, maybe we'll have to find some compromises, but the three best putters in the world. Then I have almost top three, which means this is really close and we're not sure if they would make the top three, but it's close enough. And then next tier is the strongest part of the game, which obviously means that putting is, is kind of what they're known for, that they're really good at putting and it kind of saves them on the course a lot. Then we have solid. Obviously that's gonna be pretty filled with players, I think, but that's just all around solid, good, no complaints, just not great, but also not bad. And then the last and worst tier that I chose is weakest part of their game, which is brutal. Pretty brutal, but I mean, I think it's, I think there's a couple guys, maybe including me, we have to talk about that, which, which is like, maybe the weakest part of their game and kind of cost them a couple of strokes on the putting green every now and then. So without any further ado, that was enough talking. Let's get right into it. Should we go back to front this time just to switch it up? All right, let's go back to front, which means we're starting off with Ricky Wysocki, which is obviously one of the best putters ever in disc golf. And before you say anything, I would put him on number one. You would put him on number one? Yes. I would. Where would you put him? Okay, if, if we were making this list in 2017, absolutely, number one. Really? Yes, but not now. Of course, he's a great putter. You would put him in the top three, though. At the moment, I would. Really, almost top three. Almost, I put him in almost top three. Really? Yes, I play with Ricky a lot and you know, he's heating up, but he's someone who misses more inside the circle putts than I you know, would think of someone of his putting caliber. Wow, okay, so. So we're gonna, do we have to make a compromise? We might, we, we can switch stuff around later. Because I, I know my top three for sure. Okay, all right, well, maybe we can switch things around later. I'll just put Ricky right now in almost top three. I think he belongs in the top three. Um, I kind of like to think about it like this. Like, what if you had to have someone make a 40-footer to save your life? Would you want Ricky to step up and make it, or would you want anyone else to step up and make it? Ricky would be pretty high up there. I think Ricky would be my number one choice to make it. But we'll see. All right, up next we have Paul Ulibarri. This is where it gets tough. Paul is Paul is tough. He switched his putting game so many times, and obviously Paul is either on and really good, or like pretty struggling on the putting green. Is it the weakest part of his game? He doesn't throw that far. Is it solid? It's solid. I have to go solid with Paul. Yeah. You know, he switches his putt up. When he used to do his little Anheuser putt, he, he hurt his hand. I think he broke his wrist. And if he couldn't release a putt on a hyzer, but he's he's done physical therapy, he's brought his hyzer putt back, and now he's pretty consistent on making the putts he needs to. So I I put him in solid. All right, I, I can't agree to that. Let's put Paul Yulberry in solid, which brings us to Terry Rothensberger. Terry, I I've only played with him once. I haven't seen his game all that much. Same. I played with him in Maine last week, and he made pretty much every putt. I wasn't impressed. So, so he's a really good player. He's in the top 32 of the Pro Tour points. Yeah. And if you recall to the last ranking video, he doesn't throw far. So that means... It's definitely not the strongest part of the game. That's sidearm. It's not the weakest, which is probably backhand. So solid. <laughs> I think that everyone's going to be in solid. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be in solid. All right. Then we have Gavin Rathbun, which is, for me, tough. Because I haven't played with Gavin have, in a long no, time. I have no idea. And I have to correct myself from last video, obviously he's from the Chicago area, and he's also on Team This Mania, which completely lost my mind last time, and I apologize to any Gavin fans, which I include myself, and now that I'm absolutely a Gavin fan, 
Team Dismania, his punting game, do you know? No. Probably just solid. I, 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 we have to put him in solid. We can't, we can't, yeah. we, we can't say it's the weakest part of his game. Eric Oakley. He's solid. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I, I played with Eric a bunch, and What's I, the, def, I don't, I definitely don't think it's the weakest part of this game. What is the strongest part of Eric's game? His sidearm. What's his weakest part? Mental. His, his backhand. His, backhand. His control backhand. Maybe his accuracy. All right, Eric. Eric's a solid putter. I'd give him that. Colton Montgomery, another Team Mania shout out. Colorado boy. He hit a winning putt to for the uh, yeah, but he, but he didn't know it for the win. You know, Colton is it's also just solid. I don't definitely not his strongest part. Anyway, moving on. This is is it Noah. Yeah, it is Noah Mainsma. He kind of has this lofty Heiser putt. Well, yeah, I, I played with Noah twice this year, and I actually remember being surprised how good his putting was. I mean, all these guys are good putters. Well, that's but I think this 32. might be the strongest part of his game. Maybe. That's a good point, actually. All right, Noah, you got it. The strongest <laughs> part of your game is putting. Okay, I you know I'm not gonna comment on myself. I'm pulling my hat down, and you're gonna put me where you think. Really? I'm not gonna comment on my putting game at all. Okay, so top three right now. Obviously, we're gonna have to put Macbeth up there. I was gonna put Ricky Waisaki up there as well, and then there's a handful of guys that could be third or could be almost top three. And Eagles putting is just so annoyingly good right now. Like, almost doesn't really matter where you throw it out. I think every time you're going to make it. <laughs> Which almost might put you in almost top three or third. You got to say something about yourself. Would you put yourself next to Waisaki or above Waisaki right now? I'll just say this. I'm top in 2019. I was the best circle 1x putter. And this year, I'm top five in circle 1x and circle 2x. And that's all I'm going to say. Those, so you're those, those, straight stats. Those are straight stats. Wow, okay. I don't know how to argue that. So I'm going to put Eagle in third right now. We can still move it later if we not happy, but I'm going to put you in third right now. Paul McBeth. Freaking McBeast. Obviously, when he's in McBeast mode, he is the best putter of all time. Consistently, well, okay. he's really good. I've seen him have some, some couple bad rounds, but all in all, definitely top three. He's definitely top three, yeah. but... But lately, he said his putting is trash. Yeah. And seeing Paul's game, of course, every part of his game is good. Yeah, really. I mean, world class. But I think putting is the weakest part of his game. Really? Yes. Wow. Of course, all parts of his game are good. Yeah. But I think it's the weakest part of his game. But we had no. Yeah. Okay. I maybe that's true. But I have to put him in the top three. Paul misses a lot of short putts. This year, yeah, he has kind of. There's, a lot of there's, di there's, there's many arguments. Paul has been the best player for, you know, the last ten years, I think, with without a doubt. Yeah. And he's hit some crazy putts to win tournaments. But it's it's interesting I all right i'll keep it like this for now i think he belongs okay. in the top okay three. according to stats i don't think he's that great of a putter but when the pressure is high he will make the putt when he needs to i think that qualifies for one i would i would take i would take paul that if there's anybody in the world to save my life with a 40 footer i'd probably pick paul even though i think putting is the weakest part of his game all right andrew marweed solid I haven't played with Andrew I, enough I, to really know. He's, he's solid. Actually, is it the strongest part of his game, maybe? It might be. When I played with him, his putting was really good. Really good. But he's a also... I don't think he's the strongest part of his game because I think his forehand is... I think his forehand's very good. So I just I put him in solid. All right, I agree. Andrew Marvin solid. And then we have Nico LeCastro. We need an extra tier for Nico for best practice putter in the world. He is the best practice player in the 
whenever you watch Nico warm up or just practice putt, he has like a stack of 10 putters. He does not miss the basket ever. But then as soon as the tournament starts, he just, I think he just overthinks stuff and takes too much time sometimes. And then obviously the more you think, the more things can go wrong. So uh, I think we got to go by a tournament performance here. He's one of these guys who could be top three and sometimes is. But he, he, I, I'd he, can say, be the, he can be one of the best and he can be one of the worst. Yeah, 10 years ago, obviously, so that balances top out three. It. So that balances out. He's solid. Solid? <laughs> we gotta put someone in the weakest part of the game. Look who's next. It can't be Paul. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. I, I always used to be a good putter when I was younger. I feel my first couple of years on tour, I was... The, Solid at least. It was never the strongest part of my game. That was always distance and just like scrambling, I think. So I would have to go in solid or weakest. I'm going to put myself in the weakest part of my game. At, at this time right now, 100%. Well, you got to think of like weakest part of someone's game. Like it'd be easy to say, let's take James Con Conrad for example. It'd be easy to say the weakest part of his game is a sidearm, but is a sidearm really a part of his game? Like, right now, sidearm's not really a part of your game, so I would agree that putting is probably the weakest part of it. Yeah. Or putting is not even part of my game. <laughs> Putting's definitely a part of your game. I like to put myself down there. I hope someone joins me. Kale? You're humble. I like it. Kale Laviska. Solid. Solid. The, the best part of his game is accuracy and staying in bounds and playing safe and his putting is definitely not bad definitely not the weak part so i'll put him in solid germ you know germ the last time i played with germ was the final round of mvp open this year and he made every single putt and he had like three outside circle two putts so that was close to like 60 70 footers and it was mind blowing. Obviously, as I already said, anyone that's on can be like the best in the world in this group of players. But um, consistently wise, I would put German next to me. I wouldn't say it's the weakest part of his game because I'd say it's his his backhand. Yeah, but I also don't want to say he's solid all the time. All right, we need to fill up the weakest part of the game a bit uh, more. Sorry, Germ. Kyle Klein. Kyle Kaline. Kyle Kaline. I, we played with him yesterday. He's solid. I mean, he's an up-and-comer, young gun, and uh, obviously he's one of the best young players out there right now in the world, and he's definitely a solid putter. Emerson Keith. I think he would put himself in the weakest part of his game. You know, Emerson, he drains putts. There's no there's no doubt about that. At Worlds, he was a fire, and he made every putt. I think it's the weakest part of his game. I can't I, can't I would agree. as solid. I would agree, and I'm sure there's, Emerson would also agree. All right, th there you go, Emerson. There's some there's some fire for you to go hit the practice basket and prove Kevin, us wrong. Kevin, USA Jones. I'm going... I was, I mean... Kevin Jones is two different putters. You have outside the circle Kevin and inside the circle Kevin. Yeah. Inside the circle Kevin is the weakest part of his game. Outside the circle Kevin... Best part of his game. Best part of his game. Yeah. I'd, I'd almost put him almost top three. Almost top three. Yeah. I mean, right now, Kevin obviously is uh, killing it. I would agree putting almost top three. Oh, and Calvin is another guy that could... Calvin, I, I believe, is almost top three. Yeah. He's very consistent. He's definitely above solid. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the strongest part of his game, but uh, I would put him right there. I think that's a good group of putters right here. Austin Hannum. Wow, he's been fluffing those putts lately. I haven't... I haven't I played with Austin so much in 2019, I haven't played with him I played with him time. two rounds in Vermont, and putting was not the strong part. I... I would say it was the weakest part of his game, at least in Vermont. I don't know how he's been feeling since. He could be in solid, but for me, noticeably, was it, it was the weakest part of his game. So I'm going to put him right here. Sorry, bro. Adam Hammes. Adam Hammes, 
So that's a tricky one because he's known for making big puns. Little story. I was talking to my friend Jeff Corns, who stayed with Adam Hammes last year at the Hall of Fame Classic. He went into a playoff with Calvin Heimberg, and Adam Hammes was literally talking to himself up, saying, "I'm the best putter in the world." Whoa! Strongest part of the game. That's that's better. It's the strongest part of the game. I agree. Adam goes next to Noah. Strongest part of the game, putting. And then we have Garrett. Double G. Not the strongest part of the game. It's the weakest part of the game. I would agree. He's all around such a good player, and his putting is kind of like he makes a lot of putts. Like he's he'll I make he'll make putts, but of course, like if you compare it to any other of one of his assets, yeah, it's it's not there. All right, love the guy though. Yeah, GG's great. Thomas Gilbert. He goes a bit too crazy, like me out there. He's got. A, he needs to control his inner child. Yeah, putting is solid though. It's solid though. Yeah. I don't think we can argue too much about Thomas. Drew Gibson. Wow. Where I wonder where Drew would put himself on this list. He put it at the weakest part of this game. Yeah. What about his sidearm though? He barely uses a sidearm. It's kind that's of That's like, not that's not a part of his game. It's not really, no. It's the weakest part of his game. Putting? Yeah. I would agree. I'm pretty sure he would also agree. Ezra, man. We just hung out with him uh yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome guy, and uh, I really hope he comes to Team Discmania, but he's getting a lot of offers over this offseason, so we'll see. His putting, I played with him in Maine also, and it was good. He made some big putts, great par saves, but he also was a bit shaky on some must-make putts. Solid. He's, so. defi he's definitely solid. All right, let's put him solid for now. Chris freaking Dickerson. You know he's... Top three, maybe. Can I put can put him next to three? I think he's top three. I can put him next to you for now. Yes. All right. Chris Chris is a freaking robot on the putting green. Outside the circle, like Kevin, kind of better than inside the circle, but even inside, he like very rarely misses. James Conrad, another guy. James is an incredible putter. Incredible. Definitely the strongest part of the game. No. Almost top three? No. But I think he deserves a spot next to myself and Dickerson. There can only be one person in one, two, and three. Really? Yeah, at the end we're gonna have to have one person, one, one and two, one and three. That's the top three. I would ar God, I would argue Let's put James next to Chris right now, and then we can decide when, when we have the whole big turn. Okay. Chris Clemens. He's known for his jumpers. Yeah. I played with him in Maine as well, and the strongest, I was very impressed. The strongest part of the game is his sidearm. Putting, but all around, he's solid. Backhand is probably the weakest. I'd go with a solid putter. Definitely a solid putter. Jordan Castro. I remember Jordan having struggles. Really? Yes. Huh. So much so that he, I think he's made some posts about it. Putting? Saying that it's his weak, the weakest part of his game. I mean, I think a lot of people always feel like it's their weakest part because putting is the most important part in this golf. And if you're not playing well, do you? I haven't played. I haven't played with Jordan in a long time, so I don't. I can't really comment on it. Okay. It's somewhere between solid and weakest part of their game. All right, weakest part. Eagle chooses Philo. It's solid. It is solid. It's just all around solid. Yeah. I would almost say it's the strongest part of the game. Almost, maybe. Oh, no, the, the strongest part of this game is like rock shots. Yeah. Like smooth, silky rock shots. All right, Philo. Now we have the putting world champion. It's the strongest part of this game. It is definitely, but I would, when I think about him, he makes so many putts. It's insane. Uh-huh. I would almost put him in the top three. It's, it's one of the two. Like, the reason he is in contention at most tournaments is because he makes so many insane putts. Every putts. time, like, he's up on, you know, chase or lead card, he is making every putt. Mm -hmm. All right. Almost top three. Matt Bell. Did we say his name? It's yeah. Matt Bell. World champion, Greg Barsby. Greg also, kind of like Garrett Gerthy, has, like, this lofty hyzer putt. That somehow more often than not finds the basket. 
when it's off, it's bad, but when it's on, it's unstoppable. Yeah. Kind of like every one of us. <laughs> yeah, but the, the Greg's peaks and valleys are a little bit higher yeah. and lower than most people. Solid? Solid. All right. As far as we go, then solid. Wow, this is a double row now. AB. I think we both know where AB belongs. Weakest part? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously, AB is a freaking maniac as a disc golfer, and he is insanely good at everything. But uh, whenever he doesn't shoot a 1070 rated round, it usually comes down to his putting. Because he, he he drills the putter at the basket, and if he misses, it goes like 40 to 50 feet past. All right, guys, we need we need a number one, and we need to clean up the number three spot. Let's do it like this. Who would you rather... Let's, let's go just one versus one. Who would you rather make a putt... From Circle's Edge, uh, for your life. You or Paul? I think I might pick me. Okay, so you think you're a better partner than Paul? I picked me because I... <laughs> That's such a tough question! Who would you rather have to make a putt? Paul or Chris? From 30 feet? Paul. Paul. I'm just going to put you in one right now and Paul here. Who would you rather make a putt for your life? Chris or Conrad? People, what do you think? Who would you rather have a putt from 30 feet to save your life? Chris Dickerson or James Conrad? I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with Chris. It's my channel. Okay. Alright, then we have Chris Dickerson or Ricky Waisaki. Ricky Waisaki? Kind of yes. Ricky is freaking amazing at putting. And I think these belong in the almost top three. They could be the top three. On some days they definitely are. But I think these three are the top three. And now let me sort these. Would I rather want Paul or you to make a putt for the top three uh, to save my life? I would have to say Paul. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate it. He's just the beast. Almost top three and the top three are such a toss up because I don't believe Paul is the number one putter by any means. He's the best putter under pressure to make big stuff happen. But according to stats, Playing, you know, first round through third round or even, you know, fourth round. I think James is a better putter than Paul. I think Dickerson's a better putter than Paul. I even put Calvin a better putter than Paul. Really? But when it comes down to it. Push comes to shove. For, you know, let's say taking, taking skins making the putt to win a tournament, it's gotta be Paul. That's almost like a different category. Yeah. We can make an extra category, clutch. And let's put Paul in clutch. And Ricky in clutch. Who's number one then? Connor has been off this season. He's been missing so many putts. I don't think this season he can go in the top three. I don't think he can. Calvin could, and Chris could. We're just going to put Paul on top right now in the clutch. All right, I'm making a big statement right now. I don't like to, you know, say, put myself above anybody, but I'm going to do it since we're making this video. I, like, think, I think I'm number one. Wow. Oh, God, I hate that I said that. I put myself in world class last, last week, too. All right, Eagle number one, Ricky number two, and then number three. James. One of these. James. James over Chris and Kevin and Calvin and Matt. Yes. All right. But not, you know, it's not, it's by slim margins. All right, guys. This is the final list. I think this is really good. I think Paul is obviously in the top three putters of all time. Um, but you could also argue it's the weakest part of his game. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, even though all parts of his game obviously are amazing. But uh, I think we make an extra category for him as the most clutch putter. And when it counts, he's going to step up and make it more often than not, more than anyone else. And then the solid group obviously is full of pros who are hit and miss, but overall very good putters. Obviously all of these guys are good putters. Weakest part, couple people. Strongest part, only two that weren't in the almost top three or top three. And then I think this is a good, I think this is a great tier list. Guys, let us know what you think. People, let's argue. What do you think? These are the top 32 pros 
as of the Pro Tour rankings from last week, tiered and ranked by their putting skills. So, hope you enjoyed. Now we have a shot of the day that you all definitely enjoy. And like and subscribe. Wish us luck. And wish us luck today. We're teeing off in like two hours. So, see you next time. Peace. Yo! Yeah.